But then people say, oh, but wine is healthier. Uh Uh-uh. Oh, no. It all, they stolen, they have stolen the moral high ground. And this happened with a television program in the States, it's been running for many years, called 60 Minutes. And in 60 Minutes, they started talking about the French paradox. Now, as we all know, the French live badly. You should see the rubbish they eat. <laughs> they eat all this cheese and all this oily stuff and all the, and by rights, their arteries should be caked solid with bad cholesterol. And so on 60 Minutes, they said, no, it's not, because they drink red wine. And red wine contains resveratrol. And they always say it like that, resveratrol. (laughs) And because they drink uh, this red wine, and it contains resveratrol, it cuts down the risk of atherosclerosis. What they don't tell you is how they did the experiments. They didn't actually study people and gave them red wine to drink. They studied rats and gave them resveratrol. (laughs) The equivalent of 160 bottles every day. which is twice as much as Colin Valentine drinks. (laughs) The good news is, it's nothing to do with resveratrol. It's everything to do with alcohol. It's alcohol. That is the key component. And it doesn't matter whether you're drinking red wine, white wine, ale, lager, stout, southern comfort, tequila. As long as it's the same equivalent quantities, it cuts down the risk of atherosclerosis. So what are those quantities? It will be the equivalent of two beers per day. And I mean per day, I mean every day. I mean you can't miss a day. (laughs) You can't do them all on a Friday night. That's binge drinking. Two beers every day cuts down the risk of atherosclerosis. They say, well, look, look at wine drinkers, they're healthier. Of course they are, they're wealthier. <laughs> they have access to the finest health care. They jog. People who drink beer do not jog. <laughs> they watch football games. They eat sausages. This is not a beer belly, this is a sausage belly. (laughs) So a study in Copenhagen, and they were checking what people were buying in the supermarket. People who had been buying wine were also buying bottled water, tofu, chicken, low-fat spread, lettuce, cress. People who had been buying beer were buying burgers, red meat, sausages, butter, white bread, potatoes, and cigarettes. It's only the beer that's keeping them alive. (laughs) People say, wine is healthier. It's got more nutrition. Rubbish. Rubbish. Do you know beer is the richest source of silica in the diet? The element silica which is important for bone health. It's been shown that moderate consumption of beer cuts down the risk of osteoporosis. About two beers a day cuts down the risk of osteoporosis because of the silica. (laughs) The next best source is muesli. You choose. 